Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm bringing you a very short, uh, disappointing video, only because it's about a palette that I was like wanting desperately for weeks, if not months. You can see this in several of my Weekly Wow series from the Weekly Wow playlist. I was looking forward to this palette for so long, and unfortunately when I was finally able to get it, it didn't work out for me at all. This is the Affinity 2 palette from Certify, and this was the very first Certify palette that I ever purchased and tried out. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love the, just, I love everything about this palette other than the fact that uh, I think I'm allergic to something in it. I have never actually had uh, an allergic reaction to a makeup product before. So when this first happened, I was just very confused and thought, well, maybe, you know, like it's allergies and I should look more into it. But I've tried out this palette on my eyes three times and every single time I had major irritation. Also, I did do swatches for this video because otherwise it would have just been me complaining about the palette. I wanted to actually show you the palette because obviously not everyone is going to have the same reaction that I did. But after I did the swatches, I did see some irritation on my arm, but since I only had the swatches on for like five minutes, ten max, and then I wiped them off, I just saw like redness for a little bit and then it eventually went away. So the irritation that I did get. Um, I got mainly when I used one of the shimmer shades all over my lid, particularly the shade Shafay, S-H-A-F-A-Y, this like light shade down here. It was a very pretty shade when you first put it on, um, but by the end of the day I saw that there were deep creases in the shade all over my lid. It did not look great. Uh, I saw that with most of the shimmers in this palette. I did not see the same kind of thing with the mattes. I actually really liked the mattes. The matte formula was really nice. The shimmers just weren't the best. And then at the end of every day, after wearing the eyeshadow for a full day, my eyes were bloodshot red. Um, they were very itchy and it was just super uncomfortable. The first day I wore this, I didn't think anything of it because I couldn't, I, I'm not in the habit of just staring at my eyeballs throughout a day, right? So my eyes were kind of itchy and I was just like, man, at the end of the day, my boyfriend and I were sitting down and watching TV and he looks over and he goes like, are you okay? And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, your eyes are bloodshot. Like, are you okay? And I get up and I look in the mirror and it was literally bloodshot. And the only thing that I had done differently that day was put this eyeshadow palette on. And so we talked about it. I immediately took my makeup off. I was like, okay, take it off, wash it off. Felt a little bit better. And at that point we were like, well, we don't know if it's allergies. We don't know if it's, you know, Rex, our dog, but I'm with him all the time and I never get that reaction. But we thought, you know what, let me try it again on a day where I'm not really going outside much and I'm not really seeing any dogs or anything just to make sure it's not allergies. I used this on a day that I worked from home and I had the same thing happen, unfortunately. I then tried it one more time just to make sure that it was actually this palette and same exact results, different foundations, different concealers, different brow product. Like I tried everything else that was different but kept this palette the same and I still got crazy irritation. This was so sad because I have been looking forward to this palette. I love the color story of this palette. I spent a decent amount of money for this palette, international shipping and everything. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. So it does say on the back of the palette, uh, keep out of reach of children, keep out of eyes, not for children under three, in case of irritation, discontinue use for external use only and do not ingest. So I actually, I need to go to the website. I hope they have the ingredients listed on the website because I do see the ingredients on the back of the palette. I'm going to sanitize this, clean it up, and send it to a friend of mine who is going to get some use out of it because I need someone to get some use out of this palette. <laughs> After everything I spent on it and how long I was looking forward to this, I don't want to just declutter it. To, you know, it, someone needs to use it. Someone needs to enjoy this. <laughs> So I'm going to sanitize it, clean it up, send it to her, and I just need to deep dive into these ingredients because I've never had this kind of a reaction to makeup before. And I have over 100 eyeshadow palettes and I've never had this ever happen to me. I'm, I was kind of just surprised more than anything else. So unfortunately, that's all I can really tell you about this palette. Uh, 
I can't even really give you a warning because I'm not one that has sensitive skin or sensitive eyes and this happened to me. So I would just say just be aware of that just in case. I really have not done research into the ingredients. I don't know exactly what I reacted to, but it is the first time I've reacted to any makeup in this way. I almost want to have like a little funeral because why is it on the one palette I've been looking forward to for so long? <laughs> <sighs> that's enough of that thank you guys for watching uh, i hope if you did pick up this palette that it works for you let me know down below what you think and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye